Super X here, and uh, this morning we are going to be reviewing this Odin RDA by Loki Labs. Pretty impressive piece, as you can see, especially for the price point. This this RDA was sixty-five dollars from uh, Steam Monkey. Highly impressed with it. All stainless steel construction. Does not come with that drip tip. That's a uh, that's my own tip. Um, you can see the killer engraving on it. Shallow chamber. Um, dual AFC. This RDA is set up to run either single or dual coils. Um, as you can see, you just would position it, your coil in front of the corresponding set of slots or the offset one for the single. And the ingenious design of it, it's just a two-piece RDA, a base and a cap, yet the way it's grooved and channeled, um, the AFC can be used for either single or dual coils. I like it so far. It's been a it's been a really uh, neat addition to my vape toolbox, something to kind of fiddle with. You can see it has nice deep juice wells. This one has been modded to bottom feed. As you can see, I'm just uh, pushing the bottle on this bottom fed Rio Grande, low profile, and um, it just puts juice up in there. Um, best done when the, when the RDA is flat, but it puts it in and evacuates it just like that, leaving you just a nice drenched wick. The wick kind of just slurps up all the juice and uh, it's kind of much like dripping without dripping, much more convenient. Um, Loki Labs is coming with a bottom fed version. So here I've slapped some coils on it. These are uh, dual 30 gauge coils, netting about 0.94 ohms. They're around a 14 gauge needle. I know, I know, standard size coils. But um, I found that works best on this dual coil larger chamber RDA for me right now. A lot of more experimenting to do, but for now that is that's hitting it pretty good. So um, yeah, there. I just started making duels. This is actually my third set. My first set was unsuccessful. My second, I've run for almost a week, and now I decided to throw another set on there. And um, not the hardest thing to do, and not the easiest. Here I put in some cogen dough. I'm just showing you kind of the path I took. Probably going to keep experimenting with different paths. However, having vaped this now for a while, this is a voiceover. Um, that that really vapes nice. It's that excellent. So initially, I wet the wick with a kind of a very generous squonk. Um, juice is coming up through the bottom, and squonking obviously pressing the bottle, putting juice up in there. So the wick just gobbles it up, um, and that's it. Then I, I mean, it you get a massive amount of big ginormous hits between squonks too so um, it's pretty amazing the way this works very different than the standard 14 millimeter single coil setup I run I, like I said I like it it's a great addition to my box of fun and um, that's it by now the wick is pretty well done its deal soaked it up and it's going to stay so, um, wet. The cups are, they get emptied out after you're done squonking. The juice goes back down the hole that um, is bored through the feed pipe, the center post. Um, that's it. Pretty, like I said, not too difficult to build. Much more um, patience inducing than the single, the single coil RDAs I normally run. But if I can do it, I'm going to say anybody can do it. It just takes a little common sense, a little... Um, Watching some other or looking at some pictures, I guess, is what I've done of other people's videos of it. I've learned that when you build a dual coil setup, your resistance, you're building two coils of the same resistance, and the resistance is half of one of the coils. So if I build two one-ohm coils, I'm going to have a 0.5 ohm build. So here I'm going to put the top on. I'm going to line up the AFC. I keep it about halfway open. I noticed my drip tip was uh, not on there straight. I, I straightened it out after this video. But... um that's it. Let's take a pull off it here and um, take it for a little vape action. And I'll even turn the camera around, even though it's early in the morning here yet, and take a little vape for you. It's good stuff. I like it. Loki Labs Odin. I bought this RDA myself. Again, 65 bucks. Steammonkey.com. Good stuff. I can highly recommend it to anybody that is on. Um, into this stuff and keep your eyes open for Loki Labs coming out with their bottom feed version. I hear it's about three weeks out and it, that looks to be pretty exciting. Yeah, good stuff right there. Good stuff. Super X saying see ya.